Welcome, losers. We have now dragged Will into here. Yes. Oh, hey, look, it's loser number two. Slow down. Stop. Stop for a second. Stop for a second. I saw you. I'm talking to you, Gaia. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Turn around. He's fast. Turn around, dumbass. Yeah, it's Will here. Hold on. See? 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 Shit. I... <laughs> He's running away. Look, look, it's Will. Hey, Will, guess what? Go into... What? Go into your menu. Click settings. All right. And then click shop. Got you. Go to redeem codes. Type Set in... Set mobile. You're on mobile? Out of settings. Um... Go to menu at the bottom of the screen. Menu. Is there nothing says menu? Is there a three lines on the bottom of the screen? Yeah, I click menu. I want to settings. And then click no, click shop. Oh. Then go to redeem codes and type in riders. Type in what? Riders. R I D E R S. R I D E R S. Oh. Oh. You got oh Sonic. my god. I'm going. No. Hmm? I'm no longer slow. I'm still slow. Now yeah. you don't Please explain to me how I run. No, now you just don't just, look like. Loser. You just level it up. Yeah, like you level up using XP. Well, get it. Picking up the crystals levels you up. And you uh, mean I move fastest currently by jumping. You mean I logged in to look like Sonic, and I'm still slow as molasses. Yeah. <laughs> hey Will, it's you want to put me out of my misery? Hey Will, you want to see something crazy? Come, come here. I'll, let me show you up in speed real quick. You're right here. I am on a bridge. Uh, what's I'm, I'm right next to you. Okay. Watch this. You ready? Collect XP. I'm level 166. Don't worry. The uh, gaining XP follows like a multiplicative property. The faster you get, the easier it is to gain XP. The more you rebirth, the easier it is to level up. So after a while, it it gets fairly easy. Yeah, I'm already level 20 again. I'm level 168. Well, bitch, I just reversed. Join the race. Join the race. Will, join the race. It doesn't matter if you get destroyed. That's not the point. Your goal? Just spam jump in a straight line, okay? You doing it? Yes. Yep. Just keep going. Keep going. You gotta make, you gotta make it into that ring. Did you make it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, now keep going, keep going. Make it to the end of the race. Err, uh, I'm flying. Not really, but you know. But what happened to everybody else? <clears throat> it was only me there at the end. Yeah. I thought I went first for a second. Definitely not. But that's besides the point. Basically. You really me here to get bullied. No, I'm trying to show you the game. I was trying to help you. Every time you join the race, it it has those rings that you jump through. Mm -hmm. That's going to be your best way to gain XP instantly. Until you get faster. Because one of the races you can join actually so you mean, gives you... So, 
One of the rings actually gives you 3,000 XP in one of the races. Hey, yo. Uh, how I reach that ring? How far along is that? Try to reach that ring. Which one? The 3,000 ring you just spoke of. That, oh, that it's sounds... in... oh, it's just randomly more on the races. Gas! I need that in my life! Oh, yeah, don't worry. Uh, it'll probably be in this race, actually. Yes, always join the races, because that 3,000 XP rank will randomly be there. Is this race in a desert area? Yes. Okay. So literally, as I showed you last time, just spin it. Oh, if you hit shift, but that's not fast right now. Follow me, I'll show you where it is. And I know you can get to it, because I've done it on my first try. Avoid going up the ramp. It's slower. Right here. Right here. Try and get this guy. Nothing. Keep going. There's one up here as well. That is very easy to get to. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait a minute. Did you see how steep that thing was? I, dude, I've wait done it. Dude, I've done on like level 10. What level are you? Okay. Again, just run around a bit. And then by like level 10 or 15, you should be able to get that right. Okay. Got you. I got this. I got this. How will I win one of these races? Sheer luck. You luck. don't. Oh, that's nice. You don't. I wanted to. You don't. That, that's in fact quite tough. No, I mean it. It's not a. It's not a conversation about willpower. It's a conversation of whether or not I'm going to let you win. Oh. Go ahead and join. Uh, you can also wait until the last few seconds. That way it doesn't send you there instantly. There you go, you can get that 500, right? Did somebody just fly? Hello? Oh, tails? Yeah, you yes, tail. You realize tails has actual helicopter tails to fly with, right? Yeah, that's that's not that's not that's not what I noticed. The man was standing beside me for a second, and then he just you know. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, you can do that once you hit a really high level. That's nice. He is level. Oh, I finished the race for once. Hey. He is level 308. So that is why. Holy shit, I'm already level 88. Yeah, I'm already level 93 too. Oh, one more thing. Every time you uh, rebirth, it actually adds a multiplier to how much XP you get. So I currently get... I currently get 8... I currently get 800 yourself. multiplier. Hmm? Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say. You reversed yourself like 8 times plus? What I'm hearing? Yes. Huh. Yeah, you yes, have I've to. Been once eight times hmm? <clears throat> I was telling him you have to. Once you reach a certain level, you can't get any faster. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> also, like seven of those have been on recording from like an hour and a half of a recording session. I'm at 87 out of 100. Damn it. 
Will, did you manage to join on one? Yep. Nice. Which one is it? The desert. That's the one with 3,000. Go to the point with the, uh, go to the point where I showed you and you should be able to get it. And once you hit level 35, let me know, because then you can actually go to the next world. Okay. Level 12. This is what we like to see, and look at me, I can yeah, actually yeah, move. Got it. Let's go win the race. Look at one. Did you see who won the race? No, all I see is race starting in 59. Six. They're, they're uh, from Metal Gear. <laughs> dude, dude, that game is getting popularity again. Me and you need to play it for Gifford. Same. Okay. Like uh, a bunch of VTubers and stuff have been let have been doing playthroughs of it recently. Ooh. So now is probably a great time to capitalize on that. Yeah. Hmm. Plus, I just want to show you how dumb and amazing that game is. That game is amazingly stupid in the best way. Have you ever played Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Bowl? It's a hack and slash. Like I said, don't like No, Metal Rising Gear, right? Vengeance is a hack and slash. It's not like the other Metal Gear games. Oh, it's like Devil May Cry and stuff. Oh. Raiden's even sarcastic and rude. Like, this game is. <laughs> You just gotta... I, I don't even know how to explain it. The first boss is literally a giant fucking robot. Who's... <laughs> who you have to literally run up a clock tower and kill. Clock tower? At, at clock tower, skyscraper, whichever one it is, I don't remember. And then one of them... In order for me to put my sword through this thing's head. Gotta run up a clock tower. No, you're running down it. Oh. You're running down it to stab him. It will see through you up it. Huh. One of the bosses is literally a robot wolf with a chainsaw for a tail. Bad bitch. Dude, that's Blade Wolf. Yes, I know. <laughs> and then... Oh, I get a chainsaw. So does Ellie. Oh, not close. Sir, you should slow down. You're breaking laws right there. <laughs> there is no speed in law. This is Sonic. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna head out. Alright, we'll right. talk to you later. See you guys. See ya. Yo, Will, maybe whenever me and Gaia play Metal Gear, we should invite you too. Just so you can see how dumb this game is. You want to see? You want to see? I would be willing to see. Not right now, though. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I mean, like, next week. Like, maybe, like, hmm, I'll have to get his schedule, actually. Because, uh, I will play that freaking game on Revengeance for Gifford if I have to. At the highest it's difficulty? Yes. You have to use the Konami code in order to activate it. 
you know, the generic up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, back yeah. hose. But, uh, yeah, if you, whenever you said you don't like Metal Gear, you mean you don't like the, you mean you don't like the stealth one. This one is not a stealth game. This is a hack and slash, all a Devil May Cry style. Like, this man is literally a robot ninja running around cities just on a mass murder spree. Taking down an evil organization for no reason. Actually, they're not even evil. They're not even evil. So I'm just killing people just because. No, they're no. So I mean, they're not evil as in their cause is actually just and reasonable, but they're just going about it horribly. So yes, you 100% need. I say that, but the people you're killing have. Yeah, the people you're killing are outright don't need to be killed, but they have to be killed. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I get you, I get you. Yo, is that a Sonic poster? Yo, look at Sonic 2. I want to see that movie. Have you seen the first one? I've seen the first one. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. First one was decent. No, all they, they needed have... was actually make a Sonic game that's pretty decent. I mean, have you seen Sonic Rangers? recent Sonic game that doesn't make my eyes feel like I'm watching pixels move on the screen. I said Sonic Rangers. Yes, I have no clue what that is. I don't keep up with Sonic games. That's the new one coming out this year. Also, Sonic Unleashed. Fuck you. Uh. Sonic and the Black Knight. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Sonic Generations. Let's talk about Sonic Generations. Huh? Sonic Generations was not good and you know it. Sonic Generations was amazing. Sonic Generations was not good. <laughs> I, 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 I literally got roadblocked on like the third world so I gave up on it. I don't, I have never actually played it past the third world so I don't care. Sonic Unleashed, on the other hand, I will fucking fight you for it. That game is amazing. It loses the point of the Sonic game. In what way? It's supposed to be a big... What is the, the, the... Sonic's not supposed to be a big... Oof. Yeah, Sonic. no, that's only in part of it. No. You... You switch between that and normal Sonic. Yes, it's that's the problem. If anything, they should have just given me the super ability. They, you do get the super ability for the final boss. See, I ain't make it that far. No, I ain't like the concept. Hey. What did you play on, Xbox or Wii? Wii. Xbox version is better, that's why. You see, it is now you're coming up to my personal take on all Xbox. No, 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 no. The two versions are actually very different. As someone who is currently playing through Xbox 361, and someone who has played the original, I mean the Wii version, multiple times, there is a lot of differences. I hope in those differences they they fix some things. Not that I'd ever go back and play through it. I just you mean like I, the fact that the Wii version has shitty ass motion controls? Yes. Yeah, there's no motion controls. You use a controller in the Xbox version.
Boom. Instantly better. This is true. Instantly better. Also, you know how in you know how there's a instead of like an open world, there's a you like basically hover over people and go to them. And it puts you in like weird dialogue things. I know. No, Guess I what? In Xbox 360, there's an overworld. There's an actual overworld instead of just pictures. There's an actual temple for you to go to and everything. Well, that sounds better all... That sounds better just off rip. Like I said, Xbox 360 version is genuinely better. It's too bad. The, uh... And then Sonic and the Black Knight is my personal favorite Sonic game. Sonic actually has a sword in it, and they basically give... It's not like they replace your standard gameplay with your sword mechanics. They add that as a separate layer to the, the running around mechanics. And it actually works really well. It again is my favorite Sonic game. Anyway, whenever we need to play Metal Gear, I will definitely drag you in, because I think you should see the thing that is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, because it is great. It is great. And in case you couldn't tell, I don't mean like it's a fantastic game, I mean it's great. <laughs> it's so dumb, but it's done in the best way. Do you get what I mean? Yes, it's a bad game technically, but it's so bad that it's actually good. Not even that, because it's just really freaking cheesy. But it's also so cool. Like, the dialogue is really cheesy sometimes, and the things you do are just super cliche, but they end up coming out super awesome. And they even give you a really cool rival character. His name is, a uh, Jetstream Sam. Stream who? Jetstream Sam. Oh, could we understand? Do we know why he's called Jetstream Sam? Because his name is Sam? I mean, same reason why Raiden is called Raiden whenever his name is actually Jack. Basically, his code name, I understand. That's not something. But, uh, actually, Jack's name comes from, uh, comes from the Titanic, from what I've heard. Because it's, he has a wife, and her name is Rose. And in, I believe, either in 2 or 4, they were in a sinking relationship. So, that's why his name is Jack and why her name is Rose. Ah, uh, level 19. 19? Once you hit 20, we will... We'll switch over to Elden Ring, okay? Does that sound good to you? That works for me. Alright.
Oh, there's all, also this game gets weekly updates, so they might be adding Shadow soon. Oh, also, back to the Sonic movie. Guess what? In the action, in the after credit scene, guess who showed up? Silver. No, Shadow. Did you really just say Silver? Yes, I did. I like Silver as a character. You, you do too. Yes. I like Silver. I like him a lot. Sadly, he's exclusive to 06, and you know he, and you know it. He's exclusive to Forces, 06, and a racing game. That may or may not be canon, I don't know if Team Sonic Racing is canon. But, either way, Shadow is going to be in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie 3. So that's going to be interesting, you want to know why? Oh, because that would be spoilers. No, it won't be, because they'll have to rewrite his entire backstory. They have to, they'll have to literally rewrite his entire backstory because Shadow's actual backstory is basically Eggman's grandpa makes Shadow from the DNA of an alien in order to create the ultimate life form. Bloody blah 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 story stuff his friend dies he gets sent to earth and trapped in a pod for until Eggman eventually frees him but that is in a world where Sonic and Animals like that have always existed. In the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, they are new to that world. You get what I mean? I get what you mean. That remember, makes level 21. You made it to level 21? Alright, you know what time it is then. Time for Will to show me his skills in Elden Ring. 